Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we have the long-awaited bag reveal. Yes, so I did get this bag, I believe, two weeks before my birthday and it was sitting there so after my Fendi baguette bag shopping haul and you guys saw my little Dior vlog that's actually the day that I got this bag but I didn't open it until the night of my birthday because in my household we don't open presents until after cake <laughs> that's just always how it's been in my entire like years of living so I did open this already so it's more of a bag reveal less of a bag unboxing so I'm sorry it's not gonna be as therapeutic and ASMR as normal but we're gonna try we're gonna try so luckily don was able to give me another little dior star which i love and appreciate him i already kind of this is the tissue from the bag i was gonna take it out but i don't know i feel like that's a little too much work so obviously this is the bag so unfortunately the day that i went uh apparently dior was really really busy so my essay told me they actually ran out of the shiny ribbon so he had to give me the men's ribbon and let me just show you the difference so the men's ribbon is actually blue if you guys have ever bought from dior men's before which i actually think that's a really cool touch i think that makes it kind of more special if you buy something for men's or if you buy something for women's so this was the men's dior ribbon so i definitely I definitely feel like everyone knows what this bag actually is and really quick okay <laughs> so one of my subbies specifically has been telling me not to buy the this bag and i'm really sorry i feel like i betrayed you <laughs> because i knew i wanted this bag if you guys have seen my purse piece list i i just knew i wanted this bag in my collection i just didn't know what kind i wanted what style if i wanted oblique if i wanted grain if i wanted like shiny goat skin it was they have a lot a lot of choices they even have it velvet i believe i don't think they have it in pattern yet thank god i feel like that would be so uncomfortable but anyways this is besides the point so i'm just gonna shout her out right over here and be like i'm sorry please forgive me you kept telling me and i hate this bag and this is the thing though i knew going into it when i was gonna buy this bag that i wasn't gonna be using this all the time that's uh all i want to say <laughs> so you're basically just waiting to see what color i got so this is the bag and then obviously like this uh, i did take out the majority of the tissue so i'm sorry it's not as therapeutic but it did come with a lot this bag i definitely feel like came with so much more wrapping and stuff like that over the regular one are you guys ready to see what color i got zhang zhang do, 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 do. so i did end up getting the warm taupe so this is the color of it and i did take off the tissue as well this was stuffed to pieces but it does have the microfiber lining it does have a little pocket on the side i know a lot of people have been saying that the dior saddle bag people don't really care about it because the hype is kind of over i remember maybe like the last i wouldn't even say last year probably from 2016 to about the end of 2019 i feel like this bag was very on trend very hype people considered this a trendy bag but i actually feel like this is a classic bag it's such a classic that it came back you know what i mean i've been going back and forth initially when i first wanted this bag i wanted the blue dior oblique that says christian dior right here genuinely that's that's what i had in mind and then i started like maybe that's a little bit too much because my book tote already says christian dior so i was like no oh, that's a that's a little too much christian dior so then i was thinking okay i'll just get the regular oblique print and then what made me decide for sure on getting the grain is when i saw the bobby bag and then i was like okay if i were to get the bobby bag i do want it in the blue dior oblique and i don't need two bags that are dior oblique so then i was deciding between white because white is extremely popular right when you just go on instagram it's just like white 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 right i know black is extremely popular as well i believe the black is actually the most popular one like so many celebrities have that one i just which i understand because i feel like the black one you can definitely match with more and you can also get a lot of different types of jacquard straps and it would just go with the black one i didn't want a black one i just felt like not that black is boring it's just i could get a black bag and something else you know what i mean so i wanted this to be more special more unique and yeah so this if i didn't say it already this is the warm taupe my favorite bit about this bag is the cd right here if you guys didn't know i actually had to ask this because i'm not a dior saddle expert so i asked uh, my dior say how are you technically supposed to wear this so this bag is technically a right sided bag so you see how the smaller taper is right here so formally you're supposed to wear the bag on the right side of your arm with the small part of the butt 
out like this as opposed to on i mean obviously you can wear this any side you want but technically you're supposed to wear it with the small side this way which i thought was a really unique touch but yes so this is what the bag looks like uh, in all honesty i haven't even uh, worn this bag outside but i'm going to today i have a couple errands to run i'm gonna use this we're gonna let this puppy shine i do eventually want to get a jacquard strap i do think that the jacquard straps are so overpriced oh my god it kills my soul how expensive they are but i don't know i just feel like it kind of it kind of completes the whole dior saddlebag experience but unfortunately they don't have any taupe straps my essay told me that the only taupe strap that they had was the thin one and i know i want the thicker ones so yeah i'm just gonna be waiting for the right strap no rush but yeah so this is it just a quick little video to show you guys i believe the warm taupe in the saddlebag is unavailable on the website. The last time I checked, they still have warm taupe in like the bobby bag and a couple other pieces and SLGs as well, but I don't believe that they have the saddle one anymore, but I do have to double check. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm actually currently editing this video and I realized I barely talked about this bag at all or my experience. So I thought I would just quickly add a little story time and I'm using my new kind of iphone lighting setup so this is good just like playing around with it and whatnot so again like i said this is the bag that i got if i didn't mention before this is in the grained calfskin so my thought process on this so i knew that i eventually wanted to have a dior saddlebag in my collection and i actually was dead set on the denim oblique one that was the one that i wanted and i know sophie has this one on youtube as well that was really like the main thing that pushed me i'm like wow this one's really unique this one's really different but at the same time it's very classic because it has the oblique print on it and then after weighing between the dior oblique versus the grain calfskin i actually decided to do the grain calfskin so these are all the colors that I was selecting. The white was definitely on my top pick. I kind of wanted a neutrally. There's like this nudie blush one that I saw a lot of people have. I knew for sure I didn't want the black and gold. I love, love the black and gold. It's just, I want a black caviar classic flap. So it's like, I don't need two signature bags from two different fashion houses, both being the same exact color and hardware. And then I tried on the navy blue Dior saddle bag and then I actually really, really like that one as well. But in my head, I was thinking if I got the navy blue grain calf skin, then it's kind of like you might as well just get the Dior oblique. Like to me, they were kind of like the same thing because they were both navy blue. And then I ended up actually being dead set on the khaki goat skin one. So right when I saw that one, I actually got super excited. I loved that it was goat skin. It was a couple months after I got my Chanel 19 in goat skin. So I actually really like that kind of durable, shiny, glossy look. So it's not patent, but it, it is like kind of glossy. I felt like I didn't have to baby that bag at all. And the reason why i changed my mind on getting the khaki goat skin so that was the one that i was pretty set on what made me for sure not want the khaki goat skin one anymore was because i ended up getting the prada bag in the cameo beige so then i was thinking to myself okay i don't need two colors that are essentially the same thing and then i was like okay you know what we're not going to do the goat skin anymore i think we're going to just stick to the grained calf skin so i told my essay at dior that i was going to wait until i found the perfect color and then one day i was actually on the website of dior just browsing just for fun and then i saw that they came out with a new collection and they came out with warm taupe so if you guys don't know taupe in and of itself is a cool toned neutral color so the fact that it's warm taupe to me i thought was the perfect shade because it could be warm but it could also be cool and so it's essentially a neutral bag like the most neutral bag that you can ever think of so i texted my essay right away i sent him the screenshot of the website and i'm like hey do you have this saddlebag in and then the next day when he went into work he sends me a picture of the bag and then he knew that i was deciding between the khaki goat skin one and then the warm taupe one and i was just like oh my gosh now what do i pick what do i decide uh right and then he actually picked the warm taupe himself too because i even asked him for his opinion i was like if you had to choose between warm taupe and the khaki color which one would you pick and he was like the moment that the warm taupe came in he's like this color is so perfect like he described it the same exact way the reason why he really liked the warm taupe is because he said it was super special that he hasn't seen a color like this in a really long time that they always have like the nudie pinks or like the nudie browns or 
I obviously the warm cognac color was really big for a second but he says this color was so special and then that's fully what converted me but I told him to hold the bag for me because I was still trying to decide what I wanted to get for my birthday I was waiting on my Chanel essay if she had a bag for me and he obviously my essay is freaking fantastic so he told me he was so cute he was like don't worry i'll hold this bag forever for you and i was like oh my gosh i love you so much i had this bag on hold for a, oh, like a couple weeks in all honesty whereas chanel has their stupid rule i mean it's not stupid i get it because they want to sell and, and if another customer wants it they should sell it so it's not stupid i don't mean it like that but chanel the moment your essay sends you stuff they can only hold it for 24 hours 24 hours to think about spending five thousand dollars is so like that's so much pressure the other reason why he had to hold this bag for me is because i i just could i could not find the time to drive all the way down there just to try it on and then i was dead set i was like i'm gonna get this bag for my birthday like that's it like we're getting the dior saddlebag timeline wise as you guys know i went to visit him at the store to surprise him but he was not there so to kill time i went into the fendi store and lo and behold that's where everything came crashing down and ended up getting the fendi baguette bag which i love and adore i use all the time but since he wasn't there and then the whole like fendi fiasco you're not allowed to return bags at fendi only store credit or exchange so i essentially used up my dior saddle bag money on my fendi baguette situation and then i was just really like I don't know what to do like genuinely i was like i i don't need store credit at fendi because if i had to choose between the fendi baguette bag and the saddlebag like i wanted the saddlebag for a lot longer the saddlebag has always been on my purse piece list so i was just very conflicted at that time and i was telling my mom like what should i do so then my mom was actually the one that said like you've been wanting the dior saddlebag for months now you were dead set on getting it for your birthday and then the whole fendi fiasco just happened so then she actually bought the saddlebag for me she was like i know you've really been wanting this and then she was like i can get it for you and but it's like it's so much money you know like a prada bag a louis vuitton bag that is a lot of money but like a dior saddlebag is so much money so yeah so then i told her i was like i was like no more bags for the rest of the year like i just can't i need to get good wear out of everything that i got this year so yeah i hope that story wasn't very confusing but that is how i got the dior saddlebag my mom is seriously just the greatest the greatest i've been wanting a saddlebag for so long but I just kept putting it to the side because it was so expensive. It's so funny because when this was only, I know at one point this was like $3,200, $3,300. To me, I was like, that was so expensive because I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys just started your luxury bag journey, then you probably wouldn't. But Dior's price points actually before used to be a lot lower than they are now. Like, in all honesty, just maybe four years ago, Dior price points used to be just ever so slightly above Louis Vuitton. Maybe just $1,000 above Louis Vuitton. Like Dior had a lot of bags in the 2000 price range. They were definitely below $3,000. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, bags are touching $4,000, $3,800, like, that's a lot of money. I feel like a lot of us lose sight of like price point relativity because of Chanel, because Chanel is so big on their price increases and bags are hitting like $7,000, $8,000. So when you see a bag that's like $3,000, you think to yourself like, oh wait, like that's doable. Like I can do this, but no, like anything above $2,500 is so ridiculously expensive. Like I remember back in the day, like the wallet on chain, I think it was like $2,500 and I was like, no, I'm not doing this. $2,500 for a freaking wallet? You must be crazy. And now the wallet on chains are like $3,300, $3,400. And I'm just like, a wallet on chain is essentially the same price as a mini Lady Dior back then. Like, let, let that sink in, how crazy that is. Yeah, so that is my little story on how I got the Dior saddlebag. It was very, very stressful. Um yeah i i was about to tell my dior essay that i wasn't gonna get it anymore just because 
we need to be financially responsible. If it wasn't for my mom, I honestly wouldn't have gotten this. I am a thousand percent so grateful for her. So she got this for me as um, my big, big birthday present. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really happy. I do eventually, like I said, want to add a jacquard strap, but probably not anytime soon because uh, $1,200, I could spend just a couple hundred dollars more and I can get an Ava bag. You know what I mean? Mm, weighing those pros and cons. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and then I guess we'll just go back to the outro. Thank you guys for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, a lot of you guys were asking me to reveal this on my Instagram. You guys were messaging me, especially after my last vlog. You guys saw that uh, I bought something from Dior and you all knew it was a saddlebag. You all knew. So yeah, I'm really happy I checked off something from my purse piece list. So yay if you guys enjoyed this little bag reveal please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys